AI can make you unbelievably more productive, but that productivity could be improved if you didn't have to leave your app to go to another page. In this video, we're going to bring AI inside our application, right? That's what I did here. I brought it inside my Excel file so that I can ask a question in a cell and get the reply in the next cell. Amazing, right? I'll also tell you an amazing trick to get your questions answered accurately by AI. So stay tuned till the end. First of all, we have to get our API key for ChatGPT. To get an OpenAI API key, please follow these steps. First, sign up using the link in the description or going to OpenAI website with your existing Google or Microsoft account. After that, go to dashboard. There you'll see an interface like this. Then click on the API keys tab at the bottom left of the dashboard page to access the API key page. Click on the create new secret key button to create a new API key. They'll ask you to provide some information like your name. Then click on create. Copy your API key for future reference and click on done. Now let's see how you can install the chat GPT add-in in your Excel sheets. You can download the Excel plugin for chat GPT by clicking on the link in the description. In Excel, a plugin is referred to as an add-in. Don't get confused. Plugin and add-in are the same in MS Excel. When you download add-in or macro file from internet, Microsoft blocks them from running and shows the source of this file is untrusted. You need to follow these steps to make it working. Go to the folder where the downloaded add-in file is located. Right-click the file and choose Properties from the menu. At the bottom of the General tab, select the Unblock checkbox under Security option, and then click OK. Now to install it, open Excel and click on the File tab in the ribbon. Click on Options and then select Add-ins from the left-hand menu. In the Manage drop-down menu at the bottom of the screen, select Excel Add-ins and click on the Go button. Click on the Browse button and locate the add-in file that you downloaded. Select the add-in file and click on the OK button. You should see the name of the add-in file in the Add-ins dialog box. Once you are done with these steps, a new tab called ChatGPT should be visible in your Excel workbook. Let's see how we can use it in Excel workbook. Open a new or existing MS Excel workbook. Enter text you want to ask ChatGPT in any cell. Click on ChatGPT tab, then AI Assistant. Select the cell in which you entered text. Output will be generated and will appear within a few seconds. Look how cool and time-saving it is. Let's see some other examples. If you're, for example, giving some training and you want some fake data, you can ask it as well. So, for example, we want to get sales data and budget data from Jan to December for a fake company. Format should be month, actual sales, and budget sales. Let's ask and see what we get. That's our data right here. Now that we get it into separate cells, it's easier to work with. Now you can also update the logic to account for the delimiter. It's just that you can get different delimiters back from the AI. But if you have it in this format, it's really easy to split it into separate columns. You just have to go to the Data tab here, Text to Columns, select Delimited, go Next, and then select a type of the delimiter you have. So here is a comma and a space, Finish. And we have our data in separate columns. Now I can use this as fake data for my training. Okay, so now let's say we ask it what the top 10 hip-hop songs of the 90s were. Then we click on Ask, and this is where my script is running. The moment I click on this, notice on the side pane here, we get script run status. Once we get the answer from the AI back, put it in this cell. Now let's say my boss asked me to analyze the balance sheet for BMW. I've analyzed it all on my own, but I want to get a second opinion from the AI and see what it has to say. So I'm just going to copy everything, go back here, paste it in, and let's just go all the way to the top and tell it what we want it to do. We want it to analyze the balance sheet and tell us what it thinks the risks are. Okay, so let's ask. Okay, so we get a response. The balance sheet includes the following. High level of intangible assets. This could be a risk if the company's business model changes, the company has a large amount of debt, and the company has a large number of receivables, which could be a risk if the customers don't pay. Now you can run this multiple times and you are going to get different responses. You can use these to cross-check with your own response. But of course, don't take what the AI says as the truth. You are responsible to cross-check these and come up with your own informed decision. Now let's say I finally decided to get some work done, but I'm stuck. I can't figure out this formula that I need to put in here. So here's what I want to do. I want to grab the total revenue from either the health sheet or the productivity sheet, the game sheet, 
I have different sheets here. They have a similar structure. My revenue is in column B. What I wanted to do is write a sum function here that looks into the correct sheet. So if this is game, it should go to the game sheet and grab the B column. If it's productivity, it should go to the productivity sheet. I don't want to write an IF function because I am going to have a lot of different sheets. Can't figure out the formula. Let's ask our AI. Okay, I'm just going to pin this in place and start with, I need an Excel formula. I need to get the sum of column B from different sheets. Now the sheet name is in cell A2. Okay, so this is very specific to what I need and I want it to give me the formula. So let's ask our AI and see what we get. Okay, so we get, assuming the sheet name is in cell A2, you can use the following formula. This looks good. Let me just copy this. Go to my sheet and paste this in. Okay, it looks like everything is in order and I get a number. Does it really work? Let's sum up game revenue. What's our total? 21,616. That's what we get. So if I change this to productivity, 162643. Let's just make sure that it works. Yes, it works. Gave me the right formula. This saved me a lot of time of having to go through different websites, different forums, and blog posts. I got the answer that I wanted by just asking. I hope these examples give you some ideas on how you could use AI to speed up your work. I so wish I had this when I was starting to learn Excel. There were times I could spend hours just getting my formula to work. Let me know what you think. I personally enjoyed this experiment, just to see the potential we could have in Excel. Who knows, maybe in the future, we can ask it to import the data from Bob, summarize it, and then send it to the boss. Right? Something to look forward to. Well, let me know what you think in the comment below. And as promised, here are some useful prompts that you can use to get the most accurate answers for formulas to use in Excel. Feel free to screenshot it. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon for more tips like this.